this is Island Hopper TV coming to you from Amsterdam. So we are going to walk around the city center here in Amsterdam. You see lots of bikes. Biking is the thing on this canal. There's canals everywhere. Lots of seagulls. So we're going to go around here, show you what Amsterdam has to offer. It is currently the end of March 2022. There's going to be a lot to see in Amsterdam today. We got a nice sunny day. Not quite fully sunny, but enough to keep me happy. Let's keep cruising here. And I just want to show you what these flats, these apartments look like. You can see here's the canal right here with these houseboat kind of deals. I think people even live in these. But you can see they've all got those shutters right there on the front. And these brick buildings, who knows when they were built. Dating all the way back to the 50s or 60s or maybe even before that. And you can see the other side. <laughs> Some of the buildings are a little bit crooked. Now something interesting about the Netherlands in general is it's like almost sea level or in some areas even below sea level other areas just barely above sea level so they have what they call dikes here dams so what I'm going to do is actually go over this bridge here and show you some of the uh, houseboats by the way it is tulip season in Holland if you're into tulips March is the best time Look at that bike. Who cruises that thing? You can see right here. As you know, Amsterdam is home to Van Gogh Museum and Rembrandt. Two very famous museums. I might go by there. I've been to the Van Gogh Museum. It's probably one of the best art museums I've ever been to, actually. Let's just take a look here. By the way, if you guys are curious, Amsterdam has 890,000 people living in the city center area. But it's a much larger metro if you include the surrounding areas. But some towns nearby here that people like to go to is Utrecht, The Hague, The Hog, Rotterdam. We even talked to somebody who said they prefer The Hog over Amsterdam. But Amsterdam's the big one. There's people here cruising a little canal boat. It's not quite like Venice style, but very nice. All right, so we're gonna go away from the canal for a little bit, and we're gonna go walk through some of these alleyways in the city center here. Man. The buildings are close together too. Oh, we got a head shop in there. As you guys know, there is a very famous district around here called the Red Light District of Amsterdam. We're about half a mile away from there. That was kind of like a glimpse of what it looks like. You know, the world's oldest profession. You know, one of the great things about Amsterdam is they have great public transportation, whether it be one of these streetcars that you see right here, or just the train. I actually rode in on the train from Schiphol, the airport, which is one of my favorite airports I've ever been to. It's like the best airport. But the public transport is just phenomenal out here. Some of the restaurant selection we have here, Angus Steakhouse, Grill Verona Pizzeria. got a good variety. I've seen everything from sushi to pho, Vietnamese food. Great variety out here. But let's keep cruising right through here. This is going to be a real cool area where we're headed. So the area we're headed towards right now, look at that. 
yes, the rumors are true. It does smell like that flower all over this town. <laughs> that bud. Every once in a while, you smell that. But we're coming up to the Royal Palace area. But here's an example of an area you shouldn't walk, where it's only bike traffic only. It is a very bicycle friendly town. And uh, stay on the sidewalks. <laughs> currency here. Alright, so we're coming up to where they have a shopping center right there in that big tower there. Like I said, we're near the Royal Palace. It's going to be like a walk in here. The Port Van Cleve. Tell ya, it's not easy speaking the Dutch. Speaking the Dutch. It's a very unique way to spell words, but once you hear it, it makes more sense. But when you're trying to guess, it's not so easy. Trust me, my grandma, she was from Holland, right here in the Netherlands. Well, Utrecht. <laughs> so. I would grow up lots of da, da. I can't even do it. <laughs> All right, so we've arrived in the main square here. There's the Madame Tussaud Museum. Someone wants to comment below the exact name of this place. There's De Stade de Mode de Verheid. I can't even say it. So frustrating because I would want to be able to say it correctly, but you know, typical American, typical American guy doesn't know how to speak Dutch. head up into some of these alleyway roads throughout Amsterdam. I noticed that uh, people here seem to be more slender than in the United States. Maybe it's because they're more physically active, I don't know. I notice these towns or cities in Europe much more uh, people on the streets in the city centers than in the United States. The United States is much more commercialized. Hey, they got Mexican food. Asian spirit. It's really a diverse city here. Okay, so where we're headed from here is going to be towards the actual red light district. Like I said, it's the daytime, so it's not going to be red lights turned on. Maybe later. Oh, look at this, the hash 
Hemp Gallery. It's like a museum in there. Opens at 10 a.m. So this is kind of like the district right here. It's kind of it. This whole area right along here. They have those bars and everything's <laughs> cannabis infused out here in Amsterdam. that little bridge there. Let's see if we can go over the other side here. It's actually a pretty cool building. <laughs> I'll let you guys just read for yourself. Well, there's an interesting place. This is just what it looks like at three o'clock in the afternoon. There's the red light bar. Got some rooms for rent. Oh my god. Got a peep show over there. You got a hotel room there? Respect the workers. Yeah, I bet this place gets going at night, huh? There's the old sailor club. and outs out here in the uh, Amsterdam area of the district. Yeah, big tower. All right, back out in front of the old church here. going away from the district back out into the city center There's a couple other places uh, I'd like to show you but as far as going all the way over to the Van Gogh Museum or um, the Rembrandt Museum I'll just tell you you need to go inside there instead of us just walking to get there not really a point unless I'm going inside and that's a whole video in and of itself you know but you can see this candy shop
lots of nooks and crannies in these alleyways. the central station you can pretty much get anywhere in the Netherlands from that station heck you can get all the way to Germany from that station the train station but now we're gonna go kind of closer to the waterfront where the canals meet the water it's a nice area right here though this is where you get those river tours the canal. That was pretty good. Did a nice little tour on that thing. Let's see what the tickets are. It's one hour. Here's some of the uh, things you can get at Pier 5. Now cruises, museum tickets, excursions, attractions, food and drinks, and souvenirs. See you on tour. All right, so I ended up paying the 18 euros, and here we are on an hour-long boat ride through the canal system. It's called Amsterdam because it's the Amstel Dam. That's the Amstel River. And if you say Amstel Dam, but you turn the L into an R, you get Amsterdam. But it's Amstel Dam. The Amstel River. And here we are right next to the actual Amstel River. Central Station and you have the waterfront here. It's like a more modern area on the Amstel River.
obviously the district over there. Let's go see what they got on some food. I've been hearing some good things about this place. The Sea Palace. It's Chinese food. This is a parking lot for bikes. Unbelievable. All right, Island Hoppers, that's going to conclude this episode from Amsterdam in the Netherlands. <laughs>